Worcester police are investigating vandalized artwork on the city's common. A Charlton artist spent months working on the stained glass sculpture. Police say it may have been targeted more than once this past weekend. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with the details. Brittany. Olivia, according to police, the stained glass house was vandalized both Friday and Saturday night. The artist says the piece took hundreds of hours to complete and it's disappointing. It likely took seconds to destroy what it took Sarah Breck Williams more than 300 hours to create. The artist's stained glass house was vandalized over the weekend. I kind of made it as a gift, so I wanted people to take ownership of it and feel proud of it. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. The piece on the Worcester Common Oval is the largest work Breck Williams has ever completed. She says the design process to get hundreds of pieces of glass into the house took eight months, and building it was a labor of love. I made it from August 15th to September 15th every day nonstop, no days off. So to see people experiencing it and kids going inside and looking for all the different pieces that are involved in it was really rewarding. That part is really great to see. Worcester police detectives were investigating Monday. They say the structure may have been vandalized on both Friday and Saturday night. The house is a part of Pow Wow Worcester. Co-director Jessica Walsh says it's a big loss to the art festival. It's upsetting, you know you're taking that risk when you make a piece of public art. You're never completely ready for it. You're not like, oh, it doesn't matter that that happened. Of course, it's painful because the artists, you watch the artists, like I said, go through that emotional spectrum and put their heart into it. And you know that that's like a piece of them getting damaged. The structure was on the common for five weeks. Breck Williams says she's working to repair the broken pieces and focusing on the positive. You can take pictures of it you know, from the head up anywhere. You can still come see it. When you go inside, it's still really neat to be in there. Now the artwork was going to be taken down in a few weeks to avoid winter weather. Breck Williams says she hopes to finish repairing the piece for next year. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight.